What you doing, Fred? What you doing? Are you playing with your toy? Is that your Francis? You playing with Francis? So I'm super excited. The Dollar Tree now carries fabric buffalo check placemats. Yeah, take a look at those. Does it get any better than that, right? I'm not using these as placemats. I can't wait to show you what I do with these. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose. Yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links. Mm -hmm. You guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you what I do with the new Buffalo Check placemats that my Dollar Tree just started carrying. I don't know if they've been carrying them at yours, but I was super excited when I walked down that aisle because I always walk down that aisle because tell me Dollar Tree does not always have the cutest oven mitts and dish towels. They always do. They're always coming out with new ones and I always need new ones. So I like to kind of take brows down that aisle and see what new ones they have. And when I saw those placemats, I was over the moon about them. Today, I'm bringing to you a DIY using them and it's not for placemats. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let's do some Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Getting started, you're going to want to pick up one of these wood Valentine's Day decor plaques. These are a DIY plaque. For this plaque, I am going to be using the paint that I mixed for my Valentine's Day tear tray. I love to mix paint and put them in these containers here that you can get from Michaels in their dollar bins. They're great for storing paint. Before we get started painting, you know those holes are pesky in my opinion. So we're going to use some of Dollar Tree's speckling to fill those pesky holes up. We don't want a plaque that has holes. No, no. And for those of you who are new to my channel and maybe didn't see the tear tray, that was the last DIY or two DIYs ago. The red that I'm using is Waverly's Crimson Red. And it does have a touch of Apple Barrel's Burnt Umber Brown added to it because I am one who likes to mute out some of those brighter tones and you can mute them out without losing the color just by adding a bit of brown and by adding the Burnt Umber Brown by Apple Barrel to it, it's gonna give it more of that rustic feel that I kind of gravitate toward. So this plaque, the wording anyway, is gonna get a nice base coat of this red. I did start to realize that as I did that one heart that I kind of wanted to steer clear from doing the whole plaque red and maybe add some color to it, like a pink and a white. Yes, Valentine's Day color, just like my tear tray. If you haven't seen that, you'll wanna look for it and watch that video because there are 21 really cool, quick and easy Dollar Tree DIYs, Valentine's Day Dollar Tree DIYs that you will absolutely love. And for the hearts, I am going to do the background with some of Waverly's white. And some of the pink that I mixed up. This pink is a combination of Waverly's Crimson and the white because I didn't have any pink on hand. So there's no need to go out and buy some. You just kind of mix up your colors and make your own. And it's the perfect shade of pink, in my opinion, for Valentine's Day. And yeah, I wasn't liking that heart white, so 
It's nothing that can't be fixed. I'm gonna go right over it with some of the pink. This is cute, but it's missing something. Some of my stitching. I've had some of you ask how I add stitching. I add a bit of water to my paint to thin it out a bit. Once I've got it good and thinned out, not too thin, you don't want it super watery, but you don't wanna use a thicker paint when you're applying your stitching because one, it's harder to apply it, and two, it's gonna move a bit slower. When you thin out your paint, you don't have to add paint to your brush as often, and it kind of moves it along a bit quicker, and you're gonna get, I guess, more even lines, I guess. Some of you say I have a very steady hand, I really don't, especially when I drink coffee. I'm a bit on the shaky side, but by thinning out your paint, that's kind of a trick of the trade to adding the stitching. And you wanna use as thin of a paintbrush as you can find. When doing a DIY like this, it really is about adding as much personality and character as you can to a wood plaque like this. And so you're gonna wanna switch up your colors, switch up your stitching, and I think it's just fun. And so with the hearts, of course, I switched it up and I'm adding some red stitching. Why not? Oh, and some white to the pink. Now for the part that you're all waiting for, the Buffalo check placemat. What's she gonna do with it? Get on with it, Kelly. I think it's amazing that Dollar Tree has this pattern. I love it and for a dollar you can't beat it and it's double-sided. On one of the shorter ends of the placemat, I'm gonna take it and fold it over about two inches there. The back side is black, but that's okay because you know me, I'm all about adding what? Yes, personality and character to a DIY, and that is gonna do just that. Once I've got it folded over about two inches, come on, Kelly, get it folded. I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I am going to run a line of hot glue right along that bottom edge, keeping that piece folded over. I'm not gonna hot glue the whole thing shut the sides because we want a pocket. Why do we want a pocket? Oh, you'll see here. We need a pocket up here because this is going to be a garden banner. How amazing is that? We can use Dollar Tree placemats, fabric placemats, Buffalo check placemats for a garden banner. And how fun is that? The black and white that just kind of is a total contrast to the wood DIY plaque that we just painted in these amazing colors. So by adding some hot glue to the back, I'm using hot glue. I don't worry about the elements outside, whether the hot glue is gonna melt or not because it's February, it's not hot enough for it to melt. And I'm just gonna place it right there in the center. As I am placing this, I thought to myself, self, we were really gonna be done with this DIY, right? Oh no, no. Then I start to see that there is a smudge at the bottom. Oh my word, fear not. I'm just gonna go in with some red paint and a thinner paintbrush and fix that. Yeah, I make mistakes like that all the time. I just go in and touch it up and we're good to go. Not only did this have a smudge, but I felt like it was missing something. I felt like it was just too plain. There was too much empty space, which I don't do well with that. Some people say less is more. In this instance, no, more is more. So I'm gonna take some of the wood hearts that Dollar Tree has out right now, and I figured that these would be perfect to add to that open space, just kind of filling it in. But you all know that I'm not gonna leave these the colors that they are because they don't match. So better late than never, I say. I'm gonna go in with the colors that I have pre-mixed and just put a quick coat of paint on these so that way they all match. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I'm not gonna add stitching to these because I really want that center piece to stand out more. And so I feel like if I add stitching to these hearts, it really is going to be too much stitching on this piece and it's gonna draw attention away from the Happy Valentine's Day plaque and more just kind of all over the place. I think it'll be more toward the placemat itself. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna paint these the solid color and we're gonna call it a day. Let's go take a look at our Valentine's Day Buffalo check garden banner flag. I love these, they are so fun. Okay, come on, let's go take a look at it outside. Who is today's KB Creations crafter of the day? It's going out to Melissa Wallace, 
who is bringing to us her recreation of my DIY, hmm, what is that called? Hexagon wall decor piece? That's what I'll call it. Melissa, I absolutely love, love, love the farmhouse twist that you put on this piece. Amazing, nicely done, and thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. Quick, easy, and budget friendly. Have I said that about my DIYs before? Well, this one definitely is just that. Using this placemat for my 2022 Valentine's Day garden banner couldn't have been more perfect. I love that buffalo check and I love the outcome of this banner. I hope you all enjoy today's Dollar Tree garden banner, 2022 that is. If you didn't see 2021's banner, I will link it in the description box below in a playlist with all of the other garden banners that I did throughout this past year. And I will link it on your screen. So all you gotta do is just tap on that link and it'll take you right to the playlist. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am.